Well, it's good news for those who want answers on Hunter Biden's damning laptop. Elon Musk has only owned Twitter for less than a month and has already bought a Christmas present for conservatives when he wrote this one tweet. A Twitter user wrote, Raise your hand if you think Elon Musk should make public all internal discussions about the decision to censor the New York Post story on Hunter Biden's laptop before the 2020 election in the interest of transparency. To which Elon Musk replied, This is necessary to restore public trust. That comment from Twitter's new owner is a breath of fresh air for online users who for so long have believed the platform censors important information and free speech. The New York Post was a victim of this in October 2020 when their first piece on Hunter Biden's laptop was published only to be censored by social media giants. Twitter suspended the Post's account and blocked any user from sharing the story, while Facebook restricted users from seeing it. Mark Zuckerberg actually weighed in on this in an interview with Joe Rogan this year where he claimed the FBI came to the team and said that they should be on high alert that Russian propaganda was about to drop. The FBI didn't specifically say it was about Hunter Biden, but Zuckerberg said it fit the pattern. This was the whole thing. When the Post dropped the original story, it was passed off as Russian disinformation. But the United States was only three weeks away from the 2020 presidential election, so there has been a lot of criticism over Twitter's decision to censor an important story before then. When Elon Musk declared it was necessary to go through the company's internal dialogue on why it decided to censor it, he was greeted with some enthusiastic responses online. One person wrote, do it tomorrow, we'll make for great Thanksgiving dinner conversation. Another wrote, Elon Musk, I think buying Twitter may have a bigger impact in the world than landing on Mars, changing the world one tweet at a time. Someone else wrote, how about making public any conversations that happen between Twitter and the FBI or any other federal agency? Finally, this is gonna be huge and yes please. The contents inside Hunter Biden's laptop has slowly been drip fed to the public over the last two years. It all came from the fact that Hunter left his laptop at a repair shop in Wilmington, Delaware in 2019 and never went back to pick it up. The owner went through the laptop and eventually decided to give it to the FBI. However, he made a copy which found its way into the hands of Rudy Giuliani who eventually passed the hard drive onto the New York Post. Within it was a tangled web of overseas financial deals he was involved in as well as personally incriminating videos and photos of Hunter Biden engaging in sex acts and illicit drugs. On October 14, 2020, the Post ran their first article which, through emails, detailed a relationship between Hunter Biden, then Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden, and a Ukrainian businessman. The emails show Joe Biden and Hunter met with a top advisor to the board of Burisma, which is an energy company. This company was also reportedly paying Hunter up to $50,000 a month. The problem is, Joe Biden, especially while campaigning for the election and still now, maintains that he has never had anything to do with his son's business deals. Through leaked content from the laptop and claims from whistleblowers, this statement has been contradicted numerous times. Mainstream media followed suit after the Post story was censored by failing to touch it, instead believing it was Russian disinformation. Over time, news outlets have slowly started to verify the contents found and have begun to report on it. It's impossible to break down every single scandal that has come to light over the past few years, but here are just a few of the things that have come out of the laptop. In May this year, more than 120,000 emails from Hunter Biden's laptop were published on a searchable online database that anyone could access. There was so much to come from these emails that stretched from 2010 to 2019, but here are a few of the standouts. Some emails show Hunter may have engaged in numerous shady overseas deals with China and Ukraine, where he indicated that his father could be involved in his business. One email showed Hunter and his business partner James Gilliard discussing a lucrative deal with the Chinese energy conglomerate. The email revealed the pair discussed 10 held by H for the big guy. This has later been alleged the statement meant 10% held for Joe Biden, who was known as the big guy. Another email revealed the now president's son was approached for a potential real estate investment meeting with Prince Andrew in 2010. Other bombshells to come from this laptop include the fact the leaked text messages the Daily Mail obtained showed a potential connection to Vladimir Putin. Hunter was engaging in a text message exchange with his sister-in-law Hallie Biden when he made a few incriminating statements. He's detailing to Hallie all the things he's currently dealing with while she's telling him he needs to get sober. He says he's dealing with my suspected involvement in brokering a deal with Vladimir Putin directly for the largest sale of oil gas assets inside Russia to China, 
A tax builder, Eric, his colleague, left hanging over my business. Hunter then tells Hallie that he's dealing with the aftermath of the abduction and likely assassination of his business partner. When Hunter says that, he's referring to Ye Jing Ming. Mr. Jing Ming was the chairman of the Chinese energy company CEFC, a company of which Hunter did a lot of work with. Ye Jing Ming went on to be arrested in China over economic crimes. He was named as someone who courted the Biden family and other big Washington names, subsequently going on to pay Hunter Biden millions of dollars despite not having any qualifications for the role he held. CEFC was also the company that reportedly paid $4.8 million to entities controlled by Hunter and his uncle Jim Biden over the course of 14 months in 2017. In June this year, the Daily Mail leaked a voicemail that President Biden left Hunter in 2018. Within it, he says he thinks Hunter is clear after reviewing a New York Times article that detailed a connection between his son and Yi Jingming. Hey, pal, it's Dad. It's 8.15 um, on uh, Wednesday night. If you get a chance, give me a call. Not, nothing urgent. Just want to talk to you. I thought the article, at least the thing on online, is going to be printed tomorrow in the Times. was good. I think it's clear. And uh, anyway, um, if you get a chance, give me a call. I love you. Another big scandal to come from the leaked laptop is the fact that calendar meetings in Hunter's diary show Joe Biden met with his son at least 30 times in days or even minutes after Hunter attended high-profile overseas business meetings when Joe Biden was the vice president. Hunter's business partner Eric Schwerin attended 21 out of those 30 meetings with the then VP. Whether that means anything or not, it does cast more doubt on Joe Biden's story that he knows nothing of his son's business deals. To circle back to the censorship of the story, in July this year, multiple whistleblowers claimed to Senator Chuck Grassley that the FBI schemed to falsely dismiss evidence on Hunter Biden as disinformation. Senator Grassley said credible witnesses told him the FBI schemed to undermine any derogatory information connected to Hunter Biden by passing it off as disinformation just before the 2020 election. Senator Grassley alleged a special agent named Timothy Tebow ordered all reporting on Hunter Biden to be closed without providing a valid reason as required by FBI guidelines. Further information then came to light from Hunter Biden's former business partner, Tony Bobulinski, who was interviewed by the FBI for five hours, just 11 days before the election. He claims the Bureau ignored what he told them about Hunter and Joe Biden, even providing agents with three cell phones. Mr. Bobulinski was never called back into the Bureau for further questioning and has never been asked to provide insight for the federal investigation into Hunter Biden. But now Elon Musk has vowed to release information on why Twitter decided to suppress this story. And the public want to know. A poll carried out by Russ Mustin in September revealed 63% of Americans believe Hunter Biden's laptop story is important, with 44% labelling it as very important.